What is up folks, it's Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Now as you know, my name is Mr. Alex Tech. And in this video, that's what I'm going to show you how to do. That sort of clear text, video through text effect, which is quite common and looks really cool these days. And that's really easy to do, so I'm going to show you how to do it. And then I'm going to show you how to do some real simple pans and sort of zooms with it as well, just to take it that extra little step. So let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how. So here we are, in DaVinci Resolve, and we're on the Edit tab. Now, because of the way that this works, what you first need to do is just to move your video clip up one track. So I've only got one video track here. You can see we've got video one. The text needs to be underneath it for this to work. So we're just going to click on our video on the timeline and just drag it upwards to create a video track two. And then we need to add our text down here. Open up the effects library, toolbox, titles and then you can grab any of these text or text plus whatever you need I'm just going to use text and we're going to put that underneath our video track and um, we're just going to extend that out over here now because the video is above our text we just need to disable this so we can actually see what we're doing so give the video track a click and then hit D on your keyboard just to deactivate that video for now then give your text file a click here open up the inspector in the top right hand corner and then we're just going to change our text. So I'm just going to put beach. I'm going to select a better font. Something big, thick and sort of bold works really well for this. And then for this to work exactly as you want it, you need to make sure that your font color is white. So just click on the color here and make sure that it's set all the way to the top so it's completely white. And then click on OK. Now if we just go back to this video here, highlight it again, click D to re-enable it. Now, just by doing that, we're still only going to be able to see the video because it's above the text. We can't actually see what's underneath it. So we just need to change the composite mode. So with the video selected, again, in the inspector, at the top here, you should see composite. Change this from normal, scroll down until you see multiply. And then multiply will mean that anything white, essentially, will appear through. So because we set our font to be white, that's what you see. So if we hit play... The clip will play, but the only thing you'll see is anything that's white, i.e. our text. There you go, you're done. But there's a few extra things that you can do here to sort of spice things up a little bit. First one, if we click on our text, head back into the inspector. If you actually change the color, it will work. What you'll see is you'll change the color of that text effect. So everything that's coming through will have a bit of a color tone to it. So we can make it sort of pink or red or do whatever we want. If you want the colors to remain exactly as they are, obviously that just needs to remain as white. Now, if you want to animate that text and you're comfortable with using keyframes, you can do. For a quick way of doing that, if you don't want to mess around with the keyframes, click on your text. In the inspector, select the video tab. Scroll down until you see dynamic zoom and then enable that. Now, if we hit play, it'll actually slowly pan out of the text, which is quite a nice look. Now you can control that using the dynamic zoom settings. You just need to click on this icon down here, the little drop down, select the dynamic zoom. Now the green represents your starting point while the red represents your end point. So if we just make this box a little bit smaller, it's going to start off with just EAC and then it will pan out until we can see the whole beach. So if we hit play, it just pans out like so. Now Rather than a pan out, if you want to pan across the text, if we just move this green here like so, we'll make the red box about the same size, but move that over there. And then if we hit play, it will just pan across like that without having to mess with any keyframes. It's dead easy. If that's a bit static, you don't like the way that it moves, head into the inspector again, go to your dynamic zoom, and then you can change it from linear to ease in, which means it will start off slow and then speed up, ease out will start off fast and then slow down, and then ease in and out is both of them combined. So if we just hit play now, it'll start off slow, speed up in the middle, and then slow down towards the end. Now that's it done with text, but actually the exact same principle applies when using images. So I'm just going to delete my text, and I've got this PNG file here, and this YouTube logo is white and these black bits that you can see are actually completely clear. So it's exactly the same as the text we had. So if we just drop this onto my timeline in the same position, 
You've now got anything white again becomes clear so you can see the video underneath. And then again, if you want some pans easily, you can do so with the dynamic zoom. So I'm gonna give that a click, enable the dynamic zoom, and if we just hit play, it slowly pans out. And that's it, easy as that. As always folks, thumbs up, comments and feedback down below, hit subscribe if you're new around here, and make sure to check out some of my other videos as well. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye. See ya.